Good morning. Thank God it's Friday. You're welcome to another interesting edition of Nigeria Now showing on your digital first Pan-African news network. My name is Merciful Ajinomo. There are big stories on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers this morning. And of course, we have National Security Council unveiling ISWAP as being responsible for the Owo church attack and many other stories that will be analyzed this morning by Adibari Fajme. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Same to you. All right. Uh, on Daily Trust newspaper, the big story is I swap behind Ondo church attack, Security Council says. Uh, we have a, a couple of writers there that talks about insecurity, but what do you make of this update? This is not a good news at all. Um, despite the fact that people are still mourning that uh, very heinous attack, uh, with this, um, with this news, uh, our leaders from Southwest and uh, federal government uh, together need to really work hard at this time because <laughs> the, the the havoc these people uh, caused uh, last Sunday is very is very is very humongous. So mm. that's why they need to because we don't know where these guys are going again. So if they can do that in on those states in our so who knows where else they are going? And uh, if we keep experiencing this uh, over and over, so who is going to remain in the states? Who are these? Uh, who are those people that uh, those people in leadership will be leading? So you are a leader because you have followers people following you. So if mm. you don't have any people following you that you can call your followers, of course your leadership is 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 nothing. So our leaders need to really come up and do something urgently because uh, this is very bad so and uh, don't forget uh, what uh, these people have been doing in the northern part especially in Bono and other parts of uh, in, uh, another part of northern state so we just need to do something drastic to ensure that we curtail this heart and, uh, and, uh, and neutralize these people. All right, that's our own Daily Trust newspaper, the big story there. Uh, the lower banner says article Tunubu, Kwankwesil, others have seven days to submit running mate names. From the very top, we see resubmission of auto policy bill lingers one year after. And besides that, meningitis killed 100 in Jigawa in two months. That was a story on Daily Trust newspaper. On the Blueprint newspaper, the big story is as INEC sets June 17 deadline on running mate, National Assembly, uh, APC Northern Governors meet Tunubu Mall Muslim Muslim ticket. That's on page six. Uh, I know we've had this conversation before where I said one of the problems that we face in this country is, is paying too much attention on religion. And now this is, uh, this is a theme, uh, Muslim, Muslim ticket or Christian, Christian ticket. Uh, but now, of course, uh, Nigerians are clamoring for inclusion on all fronts. Uh, what do you make of this update um, by APC and, and the choice for APC uh, vice president? Mm, I, I strongly believe that uh, Tenobu will not uh, go for Muslim Muslim ticket. Okay. And uh, I don't see him as somebody who is going to break that jinx because this is one of the reasons why he stepped down in 2015. Mm. So and uh, no president, in fact, Atiku will not even want to try it because of the mindset we have as a people. So mm. religious, tribe and ethnic or ethnicity rather, play a lot of or, or a lot of role in the way we live our lives or the way we relate as citizens in Nigeria. So it's not going to it's not going to work if they don't want to cause havoc or mm. cause another agitation. So uh, I don't I, I still believe that there are, there, there are a lot of um, Christian politicians who, who are who are who can fit yes of position. course yes who, who are formidable and as well have this electoral asset that can uh, 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 Ghana uh, uh, results and uh, help the, the party to win election come 2023. So we have the likes of Yakubu Dogara, the, the, the current uh, hazards just to the, to the federal government mm. and a host of others. So uh, it is their strategy and uh, their ability to, 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 to put their thinking cap and uh, uh, bring their highest reality that will help them. So Muslim, Muslim ticket for us as a people, as we speak now, is not something that can work. All right, that story is on page uh, six of the blueprint. Uh, we have a couple of writers there, PDP Ways, Wike, Okowa, Udom, Options. Uh, I will build on Buhari's legacy, as Tinubu says. Adamu visit Tinubu as shores of support. And Nawaj makes case for female vice president, deputy governors. Uh, on the first news newspaper, uh, we see the big stories. 2023 article, Tinubu, others intensify search for VP candidate. 
That's on the first news newspaper. Nigeria News Direct says Atiku Tinubu unveiled four-year economic agenda for Nigeria. Uh, talking about 2023 presidential election. And then we have a Business Day newspaper, of course, where the business stories are. And the one the story there is Atiku Tinubu unveiled economic agendas uh, on Business Day newspaper. National Economy says businesses struggle for survival over surging diesel prices. Do you, do you have a, a, a do you have reaction for this story? Uh, of course, um, uh, the 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 government that we have uh, still have not done the the needful mm. because if um, what uh, people are making use uh, daily in their business. Uh, is not accessible and even if it is accessible the price is at a very alarming fecund rate mm. so the 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 line the consumer uh, or the, the the customer or those people in that cycle are, are the people that will bear the brunt and uh, what's well, as long as uh, you are putting more money into the cost of production of course you know the end result so it's still going to fall back and going to have a negative impact on the economy especially the average man who do not have that financial capacity so that is why the government need it is their responsibility so when they take care of when they take care of their own responsibility then they leave the rest for the private sector the citizen or whoever uh, 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 um, whoever is in the circle of that particular community, a state or a nation. Mm. So the government need to uh, rise up and do something drastic to ensure that they create an enabling environment for business owners, business uh, um, business doers, wh whoever desires to do business. There should be an enabling environment that we encourage you to come and invest whatever resources you have mm. so that uh, our economy can grow. This is the only way and the best way for us or one of the best way for us to, to make economy. our economy work. Definitely, I agree with you on that one. That's uh, the big story there on national economy. From the very top, we see fixed income securities traded on NGX appreciate by 687.1 billion naira. On this Nigeria or war church attack, federal government, ISWAP did it. Of course, we've spoken about that story. Beside the picture of the day, we see Wayek arrest supervisors in Lagos, Kano, others for exam malpractice. And on the net that, uh, Kaduna confirms killing of 32 by terrorist denies aerial attack. That's on page 7 of that paper. Uh, but let's let's go back to business day uh, very shortly because of time. Article Tinubu unveiled economic agendas. I know you must have seen some of the pointers, uh, but what do you really think of the manifestos? Looking at the track record of the presidents we've had before now and the rate of fulfillment of these promises. Um, manifesto in a in a sane society is uh, one of the prerequisites that uh, uh, that that make the citizen to want to vote for a particular candidate mm. but uh, reverse is the case in our society because of uh, uh, sentiment um, and a lot of uh, warp understanding that our people have about politics and governance so our uh, people do not even have understanding about what governance is all about mm. and that uh, you can see majority of youth tattering or casting as passion on these political leaders don't even have understanding of their economy. So if you want to become my leader, what are the things I need to know about you? What are the qualities? What are the criteria? What are you bringing to the table? How is your leadership is going to affect my life positively? So these are the questions we need to be asking. And the, uh, the two major contenders, Tenobu and Atiku, have pushed what they want to do especially in the area of economy and, um, and education to the public. But how many people are really interested. reading this or interested in this or mm. even understand or understood this? And uh, what question are they willing to ask? Because uh, we have had successive leaders in this country who have also promised of the same thing. Mm. But at the end of the day, we could not see any reasonable or tangible results. So these and others are the things we need to engage these uh, um, two content contenders with, listen to them. Then with that, then we can make a very informed and good decision. 
but people are not doing it. It's quite unfortunate. Yes, a big unfortunate one right there. People should be aware of what is happening in the country and also be informed on all of these issues. Of course, you can stay updated on our website our follow-up stories and update as we bring them to your table. That is www.tostvnetwork.com. Our social media handle is at TOSTV Network on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Many thanks for joining us today. And Adibai, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Of course, it's Friday. Go have fun, relax, and don't forget, I always say, be vigilant. Have a wonderful weekend.